Four across. That's enough. Step away from the girl. <laughs> it's been a long, long time coming. It's been a long, long, long time. It's been a long, long time coming. It's been a long, long, long time. Last step, check the lights. Always check the lights. Good. Good. Brake lights. Do it again. Good. Fire Ranch in Merrill, uh, Wisconsin, Harvest Host. Yeah, I know nothing about it, but it's gonna be cool. They have a little schoolhouse here you're supposed to check in. Looks like they have horses, little cattle dogs. Um, yeah, I don't know what to expect. They have a big Harvest Host sign there too. Right there. Nice. Yeah. Make us feel welcome. Yes, very excited. Okay. gave me the signal like I should just start talking about something I know nothing about we just walked in here and I'm just seeing everything for the first time so we're waiting for somebody to come by so we can check in and they can tell us where to park that's all I know so far <laughs> I'm squishing your head I'm scratching your head this is where I go we just met Kristen she owns the ranch with her husband and we were in the store a little bit, which we're going to go back to tomorrow. And now she said just to follow her, she's going to show us where to park. There are two other harvest hosts in here right now, um, campers, and it looks like they're parked over that way. So we're here today with Kristen. Yes, right? ma'am. Okay, and what's the name of your property? Aspire Ranch. Aspire Ranch. And my business is Schoolhouse Unique. Oh, and that's where we are right now. Yes. What's your story? Like, how did you guys come to be on this ranch? My husband and I, during COVID, um, were looking for a place that was much more peaceful than the big city where we came from. Uh, we came out of Denver, and we were both raised in the country, and we wanted to get back to that life. So we looked and we found this and 
we bought it and here we are. We're able to live the life that we want to live. No regrets? None. Nice. Not one. Nice. Starting route to end 12,980 County Route 551. Where are we going? Sweet Spigot. Maple Syrup Farm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Ooh, I'll be right at home. Canada, Canada. Looking. Good, I'm going to turn the level on okay. so we can see. I think that's our only concern is if we're level. Yeah, good idea. Okay. So we rolled into our next harvest post, Sweet Spigot in Kearney, Michigan. I believe we're in Michigan now. So we're in Michigan? We backed in here. It's a little uh, uneven, but we got lucky. Read our Level Mate Pro and it's perfect. Here's the deal. Um, clouds and lots of clouds. We're at 30% on our batteries right now. That's getting down low and we're not gonna get any more sun. So we're gonna have to fire the Jenny and that's why it's good to have a very reliable generator for days like today because there are no power poles around here. And as Jacqueline's putting the buckets on the front jacks, this is one reason that we have them. This ground's a little soft. It just gives a bigger footprint and a better uh, stability once it's off the truck. So we really like the magnetic buckets. Um, we'll throw them in our store. I mean, not trying to sell you stuff, but we'll definitely try to sell you something that we use on a daily basis. We never go without. We like them. This is what they look like. What is your name? I'm Dustin. Dustin? DeGray. This is the DeGray Farm. Okay. So I live here with my parents. Oh, very nice. We moved from Tennessee. We were born and raised in Tennessee in 2008. That's when we started our, not quite when we started our maple syrup farm. Okay. And what are we standing in front of right now? So this was our workshop, but now it's converted to our wedding venue. <laughs> you guys have a maple syrup business and you have a wedding venue. Yes. <laughs> on a few things. There's a few things more, but that's our, our big ones. Right, you have a lot going on. Yes, we used to come up here on vacation, so now making this home was something that we really loved. The snow took a while to get used to. We do this too because I hate snow in winter. <laughs> I'm so sick of it, so, so now smart. we just travel around. So, <laughs> Well, do you mind if, we, um, if you take us to where you do maple syrup and tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Do you know where Grand, uh, Fargo and Grand Forks are going? Yes. Okay, so north of that. So this property used to be like all hard maples. That's what made it so unique for us to make um, maple syrup. This area is actually like have a high density of the sugar maples, so it's perfect for making maple syrup. Here we go by like tap count. And when we were in high school, we used to have all buckets. We used to have about 5,000 buckets. What? <laughs> yeah. Then when all of our high school friend and free label left, we actually went converted to what we call the pipeline. So if you look, you can kind of see it. Each of these trees is piped to a tap. And that's how we actually collect all the sap. And that's how like you shift all that sap to what you'll see later is the evaporator shed. And that's where we boil the sap off into syrup. So this is where it starts. This is where you each spring we come out here and we, we tap each tree. And that's where this process begins. Very cool. So, 
right here we probably have close to I want to say six thousand taps. So it keeps us keeps us pretty busy. Very. Yeah. Can people purchase online? They can. They actually okay. I think it's a sweet spigot. If you go sweetspigot.com. Okay. Um, we actually have our website on there that you can purchase the maple syrup from. Nice. We'll put a link or, you know, we'll put the website that uh, Dustin was talking about in the description of this video. And it comes in here. And we're going for the sweet and salty taste. Ooh. It's really good on pretzels, Ritz crackers. Sweet ticket they want. And that's how she uses it. Wow. You're gonna want some. It's <laughs> pretty amazing. Isn't that good? Never go back to caramel. It was so good. Oh. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm. <laughs> mm. 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 Need I say more? Mm. Wow. And that's a wrap. Bye bye, Sweet Spigot Farm. All right, let's do this. So today I'm gonna give you a healthy living tip that I think you'll really appreciate. This is about traveling. So I think a lot of times we use the excuse of, hey, it's a travel day, I can't eat healthy, but I'm here to tell you that's just an excuse. So I have some ingredients for a travel meal. Here they are. Tomatoes, cottage cheese, avocado, and everything but the bagel seasoning. I'm gonna take my bowl and I'm gonna add a cup and a half of cottage cheese. Next, tomatoes. Avocados. everything but the bagel seasoning. Then of course you'll need your lid because you're taking this with you and a disposable fork. So now you can stop anywhere along the way at a rest stop, wherever you need to stop and you can have a five minute healthy meal. Now I've got my travel meal, I'm ready to go travel, and I'm gonna eat healthy, no excuses. And I'm gonna show you a transition of one of the clients on my program. And that's been another Healthy Living Tip with Jacqueline. the Indian River, Michigan, and we're going to go to the Harvest Coast and uh, just got loud. See, that's the way it works. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> okay, so um, the, what was the first one? Twin Bear? Yep, Twin Bear. Yep. Okay, and then, I'm sorry, the next one was Wolverine? Yep, Wolverine Campground. Okay, we'll try one of those. Alright. Thank you. Yep. Bye. Bye. So I decided to call Burt Lake State Campground um, or State Park just to see 
uh, if they would allow us to dump there for a fee and they said no so at least she gave us some options though so I'll show you what I was talking about on the Harvest Host app right here. You can go on and then um, scroll down and then you'll see the dump station. There's ours. And if you keep scrolling, it'll tell you the nearby dump stations right here. So this one we called, can't use it, and then they don't have the other ones that she was talking about listed. So I'm glad that we called her because she doesn't have the other ones or they don't have the other ones listed that um, the lady just told us about. Always looking for dump stations, that's the way it goes. Yep. So this is what Dave was talking about when he said that it's stressful when you don't know the area because now we're not sure where to go, where to dump, and now we've got gotten turned around and it's trying to send us down these other roads that we probably can't go down because they're so well treed and everything. Turn left onto Bowman Road. So we need some big intersections here. We'll see. <laughs> In three quarters of a mile, <laughs> turn left onto Bowman yeah. Road. Yeah, it's tough because you're on these major highways. You're pulling out in front of you know traffic and and it's so funny when you put it in a GPS. It's like okay, you're which way is the arrow pointing and then once you start to move it like recalibrates so then what I thought going down the right was the right way it's actually I should have gotten left so it's <laughs> the way it goes so we found the dump station uh, it was a little bit hard the direction said that it was going to be on the right and it was actually on the left and it was a jelly stone before so you had to look for the sign that said Jellystone. And here we are. And the, the dump station is pretty nice. They have um, a dump, obviously. It was only $10. And they have uh, drink, drinking water right here, which is set way far away from the other water, which is the non-potable non water. And there's Dave. Taking a little time. Oh. Catching a, uh, catching a dump station cat nap. <laughs> What's taking so long? The water fill? Ah. Yeah, we're running it through a filter. Just, it's weird though. Last night when we checked the water, it was full. It didn't make sense. It shouldn't have been full because we used some. So I don't know if our sensors are off or what. I'm Normally sure. they are. I'm sure a little bit. And so there's the non-potable water there for rinsing. And there's a store, the camp office, they call it the ranger station. There's a store in there, there are some really nice showers I saw in there, restroom, and then I was able to get some coffee and the staff was really nice. So, I don't know, if you want to stay in a campground, if you like campgrounds, this might be a good place to stay. We're in Potoski, Michigan, and this was formerly Jellystone, and now I don't know what it's called. looks like it's sideways, Dave, so I'm going to turn it off and on. You know you can't just walk up without being filmed because if we don't do this, then we have nothing. How Left are you? Hand? Good to see you. <laughs> How are you? Good, good. Good to see you guys. Yeah, yeah how's it going? Yeah. <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry. That's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Getting ready for you guys. Yeah, you've been working hard, right? Uh, ever since you said you were coming. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. How many acres? 16. Wow. Yeah. Hopefully and, you don't have oh. a windstorm. No. Well, we're staying here for the but, for the winter. But it is beautiful when they start dancing. That's what Brenda says. Yeah. Dancing. There's a lot of trees. Oh yeah. yeah. There are. So you guys get the VIP. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way. That's yeah. right. That's right. Good. Good. All right. Well, cool. Excellent. Awesome. Shall we? We shall. What a 
beautiful property this is. Gosh, look at this. So this is pretty amazing. Spot out in the woods, Mike and Brenda are friends that we know from the Quartzsite Rally in a pop-up concert. We did our pop-up concert. And uh, they invite us to come out to their property and we're gonna do a show in a couple of days. It's beautiful. Who are you? I'm Brenda. And you you live here? Um, I do on the weekends. On the weekends? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks for having us out. Thank you for coming. You this is gonna be great. Yeah. Hey Bruce! Bruce! Hi Bruce! Aw, he missed you! Hey buddy! Very exciting. So this is going to be fun. So people are starting to roll in a little bit more. And uh, like I said, I don't know how many people are going to be here, but it's going to be fun. Awesome. Appreciate it, man. What's up, David? How are you? Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. Thank I'm gonna you. let you get set up. No, I would just film the whole time. Really? Let's just keep it. Uh, let's just, just keep, keep it rolling. Yeah, <laughs> I like that we're uh, Starlink ready. Oh, yeah, oh, you're good to go. Clear sky. <laughs> yeah, you just put on your spikes and climb the tree and put it on top. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Cool. Thanks for having us, buddy. Absolutely. Thanks for coming. Good to see you. Yeah, you too. I'm having that go to high school in your underwear dream right now, where you know you wake up and you're like, whoa. It's called cut back on the fireball. I'm gonna ramp up the fireball. More fireball. I love your friends. I love your friends. Honey, load up the question. Pick up your sticks and your stone. watching another episode of the Border Hookups Go RVing and please remember to ding that bell so that we can let all of you know as to when we have more episodes coming out. If you like what you saw in this video, please give us a thumbs up and comment so we can get back to you and consider becoming a member so we can give you behind the scenes content. Yeah, and thanks to Mike and Brenda for having us out. 
Yeah. And thanks welcome. to Mike and Andrea for joining. <laughs> and everyone else who is here. Yeah. And we hope to see you out here. See you out here. By the way, we've never been to Tennessee.